Um, I'm here with my mom, and she is going to do a call with you. Thank you. This is my daughter, Lily. <laughs> she is so silly. <laughs> she has her new sloth. He's a purple sloth. She, Not a red. No, oh, she is purple sloth. Um, if you can't really see, if you if it gets close, you can see the because his cheese sloth of ruby. So good. Aquarium soon in Baltimore and see uh, the sloths. It's going to be really I amazing. I got this from the aquarium. We went today. And we had quite an experience today. Um, I will tell you more about that on Facebook, however. Today, we're going to get down to business. Um, and I'm going to start with a quote. I've been reading again and studying this book more. Um, Robert Hollis's uh, Shackled to Free. I mean, Sh Shackled to Free. And um, this is just... A compilation of what I've gotten and kind of pulled out of this things that he's done for himself that he's encouraged Melody to do for herself and that they encouraged me to do for myself and my children um, but I want to start with the verse that's on this very first um, page is blessed and highly favored out of my distress I called upon the Lord the Lord answered me and set me free that is Psalm 118 5 and um, my mentor Robert Hollis and Melody and they are both faith um, holding people in my life and um, inspire me to also hold faith and hold a belief in my heart beyond what only we can see. Um, you know, beyond just the obvious and the common thing and the things that everybody can see and trust and maybe know of. Um, but what about those things we can't see? What about the things that exist that become in this world that we don't always um, see? Um, we can see them. That's the beautiful thing about it is anything that we want to create, we can just simply um, with our belief, our faith, and our thoughts and a whole bunch of other things that I'm going to give you today. And I don't know how many, 11, there's 11 um, tips, kind of um, just things I've gotten out of this book, Good Shackled Free. Um, and what I'm going to be doing is this series is going to be on this book. I'm going to be breaking it down and just giving you kind of my version and what it helped inspire me in my life after I read this. I've read and studied this book. I've read it about three times all the way through and I've been listening to the audios and studying it more now and actually like highlighting pages and and really studying it. There's a difference between reading something and studying something. Um, there's a difference between watching a replay on a video and watching a replay and taking notes. Um, and, you know, I always just want to inspire you to always be going the extra mile. And that's what my mentors inspire in me. Um, and that my will, you know, that I'm praying each morning, not my will, but thy will, thy highest will, right? Be done um, for me today uh, to overcome anything I need to that comes in my way. Um, and, and, you know, today's topic um, all of these things are what um, 11 tips to a higher mind, basically a um, just a more um, in-depth perception of what people are doing in this world and what people might be um, talking to you about, what you might be seeing on the news, you know, things that can come in our way um, and get us out of our mind. You know, we've heard that out of my mind, well, that is what happens, my friends, when we don't um, intentionally stay within our mind, right? Stay um, doing these things I'm gonna share with you today, 11 things to basically stay in our mind, in that, not just our basic mind, um, a stressful, anxious uh, mind, but a clear, calm mind that can listen to others and care about other people and, not just be self-oriented. Um, there are seasons where we must be in many ways. Maybe you're going to college and spending a lot of your energy in education. Maybe you're engaged in spending a lot of energy on planning your wedding and hiring your photographers, your videographers, and all those things. Um, these are all just simply ways that we're intended in this world, in our, you know, the divine plan you have for your life, um, 
there's these, um, you know, serendipity, synchronous, synchronistic events where you, things just fall into place. It feels like you're flowing and there's no trying or like making things happen. It's, um, it's that clear, calm, and I call it a God mind. You know, that's my goal in my mindset to be God minded. Um, not me minded, not, um, crazy minded, um, God minded. So these are also, that's another thing. Um, I like to kind of put that we can get into that God mind and, you know, regardless of your spiritual beliefs, this book, um, you know, Robert in the very beginning says this, that every religious belief, um, believes that says that all things are possible. So it doesn't matter what specifically you do believe, you know, what religion or church we go to. Um, the most important thing is, is the people in those situations in our relationships we're building in the fellowship of others right in growing our spiritual habits um you know we meet up online here in a group setting like this um weekly so that we can communicate with each other and help each other learn and grow and know what each other needs and wants and um, know where our limiting beliefs are and we can help each other overcome them and not be stuck and because sometimes we are we get stuck there's no doubt about it that even if we have certain levels of faith, things can come into our life that, that attempt to bring that level of faith down. They don't have to though. And here's the deal. I've learned that if you keep these 11 things going, your, your faith can stay high. Your thinking is, is basically reprogrammed to be a higher level of state of mind, uh, to be a strong and uh, all things possible minded versus um, excuses and complaining or thinking of the past, um, even too much planning into the future could be a distraction from our frame of mind we should be in today, um, or we could be in today, right? Um, so um, I, I'm beyond, it's beyond belief what the time that we live in here and what we have as far as uh, technology, social media, Facebook, um, I'm going to, I'm committing, I'm going to share with you right now at the beginning, because this is basically your homework as well. Commit to, um, commit to a plan. Um, and I'll cover you obviously after these, um, we're going to go into a little bit of a calendar and how to set up our calendar for consistent, um, residual building on social media. I don't care what business you're in. It doesn't matter here. Um, what we're doing is growing our net worth, right? We're growing our net work. Um, Melody reminded us again yesterday on her call. It's called net working uh, for a reason, not, um, you know, net not working. And our only goal here is just to simply um, be in a, a frame of mind where we can be open to creating relationships and to building um, our network our net worth, um, because it is our net worth. What happens, what face, what's happening on Facebook is basically, you know, it's becoming Google in a way. It's got metadata, it's SEO optimized. I put my website on my headliner so that in time, Google's gonna start pulling uh, me up, my website up. When people are searching CBD, um, whatever they might be searching for in my area, um, I want my website to come up. And I know that's not, you know, anything that gives me value, it's just something that's cool because it's a success in today's technology to learn how to um, be systematic and how to not spend all your time on social media, but also profit on social media or whatever your platform is. Some people are on Twitter. There's people on Instagram. What, it doesn't matter. Um, personally, I, my mentors are on Facebook. I funnel everyone back to Facebook because that's what's efficient for me and my team. Um, I want to be able to duplicate as easy and quick as possible. I want people to be in profit tomorrow if they purchase their CBD pack tonight. That's my goal, to get you a check ASAP. First paycheck. You should be getting one along with me. This is not for me. I don't do this for me. I do this for humanity. I do this for the greater good. I do this, um, you know, when I was um, needing to pull back from my photography career more, um, I needed a plan B. I needed something else. I needed to work with my voice and I was inspired and I was introduced to a mentor and um, these crazy things happen and um, life comes and, and just um, blesses you and, and every, I, there's some, you know, seasons in life where um, we, what we expect is exactly what we get. 
And that's beautiful when you're expecting growth and um, love and joy and, um, you know, all the beautiful things in life. Expecting those makes all the difference. I have a sticker, a sticky on my computer over there that says we, we attract what we expect. And every single time, that is the truth. And anyway, okay, so let's get into what, what attracting good things, right? Let's get into making sure that we're attracting success, that we're attracting a wisdom, um, the higher mindedness of, of what's possible. Because come on, I mean, anybody can do, you know, a random Facebook post. Anybody can, you know, get in social media and post but not get a messenger ever. That's easy to do. No, what I'm going to challenge you to do today is to actually get into your messenger on your social media and you're going to be connecting with new people every single day, every single day, every single day, at least one. I mean, who can't connect with one new person a day when it's coming from the comfort of your phone, right? I'm not asking you to buy a computer or a laptop. You can use your phone. Most of my business is done from my phone. I'm actually recording from my iPad today because I have notes on my phone that I want to reference in a little bit. So, which reminds me, I'm going to open that. I've had the, the most just um, miraculous experience today I'm going to share with you because it inspired in me um, that what I'm sharing is right, that what I'm sharing is, is, is absolutely what humanity is looking for and, um, and what can help us. What, when I read this book from Robert and I see his success, I know that what happens and what is achieved by another, I know I can do that too because God is not a discerner of persons. And we hear um, our mentor saying that all the time, but that is the truth. God is not a discerner of persons. And if one person can do it and succeed at that, then you can too. I can too. If I can do this, there is no doubt anybody else can do it because I literally, I look like I have arms, but I really don't. So um, I believe in you. And we're going to get this process down. And she, then she means that by like she doesn't have any arms. She means that they hurt so much she feels like they're not there. Yes. Yes. Um, they're not hurting right now. I'm good right now. I love you. Um, Lily is, she is something. I love her so much. Okay. So we want to live a life by design, right? We want to live a life by design. We want to, and the only way to do that is to be able to design a lie in our right mind, right? If we're setting goals and we're writing out processes and systems for our life, but we're not in our right mind at this time while we're writing these things down and writing down our goals, but we're not in our right mind, those goals and, you know, things that we're writing down, who knows? Is that your will? Um, my will, someone else's will, I don't know. Um, ask, always ask, always know that you're following your will. Okay, so number one is love. Love, endless love, unconditional love. Um, love is the highest vibration, guys. And there is no doubt about it that the, the energy of love um, can change the energy in a room within an instant. Just a, a, a loving comment or a loving gesture um, to help someone else, that changes everyone's energy in the room. And um, it's true that people are afraid to love. It's true that we've been hurt and that, um, you know, our feelings have, have sometimes not been understood or, or, and we don't even understand them all the time. I know I don't. I, I don't understand all the time what, um, you know, I'm necessarily experiencing in the world. And that's why I'm grateful for my mentors. I'm grateful I have people I can message that are non-judgmental that answer me just like, you know, a parent almost would, very mentorship, you know, oriented um, and big picture oriented. That's another thing, not business oriented only. Now I'm all about business. I am a businesswoman. Obviously, this is, that's the, one of the reasons I'm here. However, I am led um, by my my spirit. And I do believe that there is more um, to business than just doing business. And, and we know that that's true. So number, number one is love. Love is the highest vibration. Repeat love every single day from the morning, you, from the moment you wake up until you go to bed. Um, ask yourself, am I speaking in love? Am I acting in love? Am I seeing in love? Am I hearing in love? Am I speaking in love? Am I acting in love? Am I seeing in love? You know, ask ask, what is the veil I'm seeing through? Close your eyes and then reopen them. And am I looking through love? You know, cause love is God, right? You've heard that God is love. And again, if you're not a believer, then that's okay. But I know you believe in you. 
And I believe in you. And that's important. That's the most important, actually. So number two is generosity. Um, generosity is um, positive and it provokes other people to be positive. Um, you can be generous with things. It doesn't have to be money, cash. I mean, though you can buy things from people or for people or um, spend, you know. Another thing for people, um, today I buy a whole ba a whole little bag of dog food just for a poor dog and, and a poor man on the street. She did. That's the truth. She is my sweet little angel. She is really an angel. She bought, there was um man on the side of the road where we were walking and there was a CVS and I was going into the CVS and she said, I'm going to go buy something. I said, you are, what are you going to buy? And it was the dog food for the dog. And I mean, it was her money. She earns spending money and has a little credit card, debit card that she can use to buy whatever she wants. And we took the time and took her in there and bought that um, dog, dog food. So sweet. Okay. Generosity, right? Uh, with your time, with your smiles, um, with your money, with your trust. Here's a, here's a key, key fact of successful people and, and how to uh, always be getting to that next best step is to always expect the best of people and always see the best in people. Choose to find the best about them, to see and dwell on and focus on and visualize and expand, expand that. Um, we don't, you know, get in our right mind by default. We get in our right mind by intentionally doing these things and putting time into actually writing things down and looking at them. And it takes energy, right? Um, be generous with our energy. Um, okay. When, if you feel like you need something, here's another check. If you feel like you need something or you need to do something, um, take a, a break and go serve, you know, before you give um, any anything into, um, you know, like I, I just, you, I'll just give you an example. I used to always feel like I needed, um, makeup. I felt like I needed face. I had to have my face on and my hair. I had to have everything fixed. I mean, look at my hair today. It's so frizzy. We've been out in Baltimore all day long, guys. I'm like a wreck. I feel, I feel like, but I am committed here. And this is what I know I'm meant to do. No matter what my body looks like or feels like, this is what I'm meant to do. This is my calling. So I'm coming here with you. Okay, let me get back on track. Uh, number four, um, eat high nutrient, um, or I call them high vibe foods. Eat high vibrational foods. Um, one. I skipped one. She helped me see that. Okay, sorry. We're on number three. Two is gener one was love. Two is generosity. Three is forgiveness. Forgiveness. Look, and here's the fact. Blame. When we blame someone, when we speak of others in a blaming, communicative way, um, or to them, or, or even just non-intentionally, maybe blaming other people for things. I don't know. It's super low frequency. It's not something that people want to be around and feels good. It's a horrible feeling. Nobody wants to feel that. So blame Stay away from that. Forgive, forgive, forgive. And if you can't forgive, then at least um, pray about it. Pray about it. Um, and then number four is eat high nutrient foods. And yes, I'm going to go into just a little bit of physical, obviously what we should be doing for our bodies on a regular basis, because that is who we are too. Um, and it matters. Our food matters. High vibe, there is such thing as high vibe foods. And basically it's all foods that are alive. Fruits, vegetables, um, based the outside aisles of the grocery store. Try to not go through the aisles with all the packages and chips and Cheetos and cookies and all those things. Eliminate processed foods as much as possible. Um, and sugar, also white sugar. I use brown sugar. It's or, or the raw sugar and the raw. Um, the white sugar acts, you can read, Google it, Google it. It just acts as a, you can Google it. Um, but you do want to reduce your white sugar. Okay. Um, Number five is meditation. Meditate every day. And, and I mean every day. Um, multiple times a day if needed, but that's not really necessary. Um, no, no. Turn down. Um, daily is necessary. Okay. Daily is necessary. And if you don't meditate already and you're like, well, I don't even know what that is. How am I going to meditate? Start with breathing. That's how I started. I didn't start meditating. I started breathing and I realized what meditation was as I was practicing my breathing one day. Um, I like drifted off into this weightless space and 
um, lo and behold, I knew how to meditate and didn't even know it. Um, and that's all of us. We all have the same, you know, I, there's nothing special. I haven't received anything that you um, don't have within you. There is a power within us all. It is that principle of power. I call it God. Um, but that principle of power within us. Um, I pray, um, I ask, and we receive. So in meditation, when you're, you know, you can pray, um, you can ask for things, and you can visually then in your meditation receive things, like visualize receiving things. Um, where you're going to be, where you want to live next. If you're going to be um, ever moving or having children, what will your children look like? Like, what's your family going to be like? like? Meditate on things and thoughts and ideas that make you happy, make you smile. And if you can't come up with any, then remember the last one that did make you smile. Remember the last amazing memory that just made you forget time and space and stay there for a little while. Um, but don't let it make you sad. You want to feel good, right? More time... We want to spend more time getting our mind right than allowing it to dump on ourselves. Um, we're better for everyone around us when we're better for ourselves um, first. So number six is remove toxins. Remove or reduce toxins. There are several layers to this. I would obviously start with basic things like alcohol, um, food that is highly processed that has a ton of crap in it, like stuff at the movies, etc. Um, medications possibly I always I go through when I was on medications I would go through them on a regular basis to just take an evaluation of what was I taking what are these meds for and do I really need them um, because as time went on I didn't I was able to wean off and reduce many many meds of um, and it was just miraculous for my body so remove reduce toxins also fragrances if you like aromatherapy and you buy candles or plug-ins and those kinds of things if you go to Yankee Candle stop it why are you doing it no it's um i know it smells great i love the way it smells too um and the truth is a lot of that stuff does have chemicals in it and you'll go in there and you can ask them and they'll tell you they are not going to hold it back you say here are these natural scents or is this chemicals no nope, they're all fragrance they're all chemicals hmm interesting what in the world why are they selling i have a whole store of that stuff Anyways, I use mantra essential oils. And if you have ever heard of mantra, I'm sure you use them too. So please let me know how you like them. Um, those are my favorite oils. Okay, so number seven is think positive thoughts. We create with our thoughts. And that is no lie. The Bible talks about it. If you believe in the Bible, if you don't, it is truth. There is truth in that in the science of getting rich, think and grow rich. Um, how is that working? All attest to that fact. So think positive thoughts and Melody Riva, she helps me stay, um, get back to my right mind um, when I'm not thinking positive and when I'm not in my right thoughts, you know? So, you know, having a mentor is important or a coach. Okay, eight is consume high vibe frequencies, okay? Not just high vibe food, but we're gonna listen to good music. We are gonna stop watching just regular old TV and we're gonna start putting stuff on our TV like Gaia or um we're gonna read good books we are going to watch movies like the secret and think and grow rich and we're going to expand our vibration and our frequency we know we are made all the same right we might look different in our human bodies but we are all energy and we are all connected and i do believe that in a huge huge way and when we do these things by consuming these high vibration activities we actually can connect on a better level as well that way. So number nine is self-care and self-love. They are two different things. Um, usually your self-care will go if you don't love yourself. So how well are you taking care of yourself? How healthy are you? If you were to go to the doctor tomorrow for a physical, what would he tell you? Eh, holistic doctor, um, integrative specialist maybe. I wouldn't go to just any physician. Like that's ridiculous. Um, you know, another thing I've realized in my health journey is health, the healthcare system is a system and it is, um, it is also a business. It is also big business. So be careful, choose your doctors wisely. If you are in Maryland, I go to Jason Worthy right at the street and he is amazing because, um, he integrates, he's an integrated doctor. So he does, I mean, he's open to all kinds of, of, of ways that people, um, can get healthy and that's, that's what I like. Uh, okay, so number 10 is be, go outside and um, be in nature. Even if it's cold, bundle up and go out and see the trees or see the animals or do something outside because it grounds you and it will 
help you keep in that right frame of mind um, more often, okay? So number 11, the last one is build and grow relationships. Never give up on people, okay? Never give up the hope for humanity and the greater good of, of the world. Um, never give up on people. Um, always build your relationships and, and always be asking yourself, what can I, you know, what can I pray for this person or what can I um, do to serve this person? Um, when you're in your relationships, you know, make it a, a team effort. You know, if you're talking about yourself for a while, then allow them to talk about themselves. Ask questions. There is no relationship happening if, if nobody's asking questions. <laughs> That's the way you get to know people is asking questions. So if you never open your messenger in your Facebook, then you're not building relationships. You are building um, maybe a, a user friends list. It's a list. So it's not bad. It's a good thing. You still want to build your list, even if you're not in Messenger yet. I wasn't in Messenger for a long time. Um, I don't know. I didn't feel comfortable messaging people. I just felt like, do I know them? Or what are they going to think of me? Like, hey, how are you, strange person? <laughs> Look, I didn't Facebook Messenger people ever in the beginning. Now that's the first thing I do. Um, well, no, I, I don't. That's not the first thing I do. But it's, it's one of the priorities in my, of my day. It is one of the priorities of my day when it comes to this Facebook social media system that we have gained here by design, by miraculous, you know, timing. Honestly, you know, the hemp CBD business is booming right now. And I was already partnered with my mentors with coaching. And there was no doubt about it. Whatever they were recommending to do in my business life, I was going to do it. And I do it today. It's two years later. And I'm still... Um, staying healthy with CBD and um, the great essential oils and now the hemp stuff and just everything. There's amazing skincare I use every single day. It's, it's just, I love all of it. And it's all part of my routine, my self-care routine to stay healthy, to stay strong, to stay in my right mind. Um, okay. So take radical action. Okay. So my call to action to you is just take radical action. I don't know what your action is, because everybody honestly is on a different journey. Um, if you don't know what to do and you're like, I want to take radical action, but I don't know what to do. Send me a message, send me a message or reach out to our mentors, Melody Riva or Robert Hollis, and they can help you as well. We are here to serve you and to help create a better future to help you work smarter, um, not harder, um, to escape, you know, if you need it, if you're here for an escape plan, that's, you know, like many of us uh, are, have been in the nine to five rut. We went to Baltimore today and up and down the freeways is so much traffic in that nine to five routine. And I just, I did it at one time. So I know that it's meant to be for some, but not for me anymore. So if you're starting to feel that way too, this nine to five, I need to retire early. Like, what am I doing? Now I get it. You know, a lot of us work because we like to serve and we like to be here and we um, appreciate sharing the value and content that we share, whatever it is you do for your work. Um, so, you know, I know that it's not always about the money and the income. However, we are here to serve you in that way as well and in every way. Um, so we just want to inspire you to live an intentional life and always be doing what is, is your focus. You know, don't be um, spending too much time with non-priority. Always be making sure that you are on track and in focus. Um, and these 11 things will help you do that. I know for sure because I've been practicing these um, a while, a while, a two, couple years and at least. Um, and, you know, my, my affirmation today is I will be a millionaire. I will be a millionaire. And um, kids have a way of helping us expand our imagination. They believe in miracles. And it is a beautiful thing because they help remind me to also believe in miracles. Um, and they help me love more. I love my children. I love being a mother. It's just my favorite job ever, 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 ever. If my heart's not right with my kids here at home and my family, then I can't come on here and do this. So that is my first priority, getting it right at home. So that's, I want to inspire that in you as well, that when you're struggling in any area of life, um, to, to kind of look back on your priorities, come back home, whether that's your family or your heart, or maybe it's your yoga, 
um, that kind of grounds you and just gets you there on a regular basis, but come back home, let go of the heavy stuff. We don't have to keep focusing on the news. We don't have to know what's going on all the time. We don't, I'm grateful that I gave up on the news a long time ago, good Lord. Um, it's so hard though, because I know it comes at us. It's everywhere, it's all over the place. You can't even go eat anywhere in town without the news being played in the restaurant, it's ridiculous. Anyway, okay. Um, you have to dig, you have to dive deep, you have to be uh, passionate, excited, you have to be ready for success to come to you to be successful. Um, success doesn't happen in the back seat when we're in the back of the pews, you know, in the last pew in the back or in the back seat of your life. We've got to be driving it in the front seat. So I want to inspire in you um, as you're building your relationships and raising your frame of mind and get into that higher state of mind that um, that you will remember that all things are possible and that you would inspire in someone else that today, that you would lead and be a legend and give your voice, serve others with your voice um, and your activities here on Facebook. It's so easy to do. Um, there's just no excuse that if we have a servant's heart and if we really are truly here to serve, um, there's no excuse why we can't, you know, aren't, can't be taking these action steps um, last week's call, last week's call, I gave specific steps for you to take each and every day. Hey, buddy. Um, so if you have not seen that call, that is the Facebook process. That is it. That is the system um, I, I am using with my mentors to grow. Shh, just, I'm recording, buddy. What, baby? using to grow my network network right just in, the, in this new technological age um, you know there's really no need for a website Facebook can be your website it is my website pretty much um, I lead everybody back to Facebook my website leads people back to Facebook um, pretty much so I know you're able I know you can um, I know you can do anything you want to do I believe in you um, take massive action radical action in your life in that priority whatever that is in that number one priority a work smarter live an intentional life ask yourself the hard questions you know each day ask is this the atmosphere I want to produce um, welcome the spirit into your life welcome a, another level of faith into your life um, and and I know that each and every day um, we're getting better and better, and um, that'll be it for now. So I, I'm going to, my recommitment, my commitment here for the month of February is um, commitment to my lives, and that's what I would ask of you, to commit to that next step, whatever that next step is for you. Commit to that. Commit to doing that. Commit to being consistent. Commit to showing up, no matter how you feel, for that, whatever that is. Uh, for me, it's my business on Facebook. It's growing my network so that um, I can uh, his, retire my husband and from my health job, you know, all the work you have to do for me, children. We love, um, we love our family and we are just so blessed that we can prioritize our family first. Um, and that has always just been my priority. And, um, you know, under God, of course, um, but before work, um, and that, you know, it's a blessing that my children can come in here at, at, as, you know, obviously not during the whole call, but at the end, I'm okay. Like, I just, that doesn't bother me anymore. It used to though. Um, but life, I, I do live life, right? So I have just given you 11 secrets to a millionaire mind. These are tips and secrets from Robert Hollis, Melody Riva, um, that I have learned and ins been inspired in, um, over the last couple of years. So I love you all, and re please reach out and let me know if you need anything. Um, also, uh, um, I will share with you briefly um, what happened in Baltimore tomorrow on Facebook Live. So please, if you watch the replay, um, join me on the live, and you can also share that. I will be um, sharing a bit of the opportunity at the end and asking people to reach out to the person that shares the video with them. So please, if you have anyone in mind, here is a great, great opportunity to be able to um, speak to them in a way um, 
on social media that is just super easy. Like you literally don't have to be, even be there. Like you show up and share it and then you're gone. Like that's how easy it is to do business these days. It's crazy. Obviously that's just in the beginning. Um, you want to eventually grow the time that you spend, right? Are you okay, buddy? All right. Okay. So anyways, if you want more steps on Facebook, look at last week's video. Otherwise, thank you so much for being here. And thank you so much for the replay viewers that are going to come on. I love you so much. Uh, Freedom Mastery is just um, my heart and soul. And I just love giving back to you guys through this way um, to grow your business and to grow your, um, your family, your relationships. Um, again, you know, whatever that main big priority is for you, um, grow it. Love you. Bye. Oh, look, big giant eye eye.